Hello everyone, Equipment War here, and uh, welcome to a gameplay commentary on my Rightness Fire Marauder. And today I'm going to play this map here. It's just a shaped, uh, shaper the uh, crypt map, but it's a tier 14 map, so it's a somewhat high map. So let's play it and have some fun. And I'm gonna show more about the build. This is not quite a build guide, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do a real build guide for this character because this character works really well. I really, really love it. So let's see if we can have some fun and kill some enemies. <coughs> Sorry. I can see I do far more damage now, and uh, the comments I have get, uh, gotten on uh, got on my last video when I did this really did did make dif make difference. So uh, it make things how much better. So the ones that comments on the last video, I really want to thank them because that they give me some really good ideas. Maybe that hurts a little bit. Oh yeah, that's an that's an invasion boss right there. That's a lot of crap right there. But he's dead. Let's see if we can actually find a way. Let me do a little bit damage in here. And yes, as I said in the beginning, I'm going to show the character. I promise. And I really think this will be like a really powerful uh, setup in the new update. Thanks to all of the well changes they're doing to Damage Time. I think Right and Fire will be a pretty popular type of build in the new update. But that's just what I think, so we will see what's happening. And I haven't played the beta, as I said before, I, I don't I, I'm not gonna I don't I don't want to get spoiled. Like, I'd rather wait until the big update come out and everyone can play it. But I still have the beta key, and if I could, I would gladly give it away, but I can't. So, I'm sorry. Well, who knows, maybe the last week I'll actually go out and try it, but I haven't watched anything about the new update, so I have no idea what's gonna... Like, I don't know how, uh, like, the energy shield changes, the... Damage or time change. I don't really know how that will play out, so that's gonna be interesting to see. Maybe I shouldn't look it up, or maybe not. Maybe I actually just one. Uh, maybe I actually just wait in and discover it myself. More fun for me, at least. <laughs> but the update going a little bit closer. It's now like two weeks. I think it is. I think it was not right, right now. It's two weeks since they did the. Since they did the 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 beta so uh, I think it was six weeks and the update will come six weeks or uh, six weeks uh, after the beta were announced or like it could become available available for everyone ah wrong ball let me never courses I don't bloody care the enemy on this map doing extra cold damage I don't care and you dead Man, this amount of life I have right now, it's like, it's the highest amount of life I have ever had on my character. That's huge, almost 9,000 life. I'm starting to get hard in the skill tree to get, to get life right now. I'm pretty much taking every single piece of life I actually can get. I could get some bell gear with life on, but I'm actually quite happy with it as it is right now. Look at here, another invasion boss. I do have invasion active. That's one. So that's why I find invasion losses. Actually, soon I'm gonna actually I gotta level soon. That's pretty nice. All right, for the boss fight, I just usually take my concentrated effect. And yes, I'm going to show it. I promise. Let's kill his friends. Ooh, that hurts. It hurts a lot. The enemy here doing some extra damage. Come on, die, 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 die. And he died. Shape of Greer, can I like, like dropping some higher level maps again? It's pretty nice. Well, before I continue, I'm not gonna let you wait anymore. Let's sh I'm gonna show my gear. My gear is pretty much the same as it was before. Right now, I'm using. Uh, give me a sec here. Let's take it away. This is Doriana's Catalyst, that's my weapon, pretty nice weapon, really cheap to get so far. 
close me like to chaos. So it's a very cheap weapon, or maybe it drops when you're fighting at zero. I'm using the same Helm Dancer 4, highly defensive, good life and resistance. It could have more life actually, it could have some uh, strength for all I think it could have. It would be nice, but it's good enough for me. I have this one here, I have actually upgraded my amulet. You can see they have one plus to all uh, maximum resistance, so I'm over Captain Resistance. Give me some uh, dexterity, intelligence, which is really nice. And give me a good amount of life. So it's pretty one, a nice one, and it only cost me like 15 chaos, so it was a really cheap one. Right, so Phoenix, they're cheap, and actually find this myself. I have a ring here. This ring is not the best, but it's pretty useful, and I I, I like it. Give a lot of life. It gives. Uh, so I actually have maxed out light resistance. I had, didn't have it before with my old ring. I have this amazing ring that someone gave it to me, and if you're watching, bro, thank you again. <laughs> and of course, using Calm's heart. If I only had a legacy one, that would be so amazing. But it's way too expensive. I have the same gloves as before. I know they are an, uh, craftable gloves with the, the essence you can do, which would be far better on this one. But when I look up the prices on that one, I think the essence of the, the lead rule, the, I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. But that one would, if I had the essence of that one, I, I would be able to get some gloves which have more damage over time modifiers on that if I have the socket, uh, the, the brightness fire in it. So that's that, but this one, it's good enough. I have a highly defensive belt, armor, life, resistance, everything you need. And I have these uh, boots here, which are pretty nice. That's pretty much my gear, so let's take a fast look at my skill tree. And actually I'm gonna level soon, which are pretty awesome. My pet skill tree. I have actually ascended the fourth time and I get help by a friend. And again, thank you bro. <laughs> But uh, I didn't want either this one or this one, so I just took the life generation notes here. Because I don't care about this one, it doesn't give me anything. I have two grams of uh, forest strength, I have whatever that's, I can't pronounce that, and I can't pronounce that either. But you can see them. And this is how my skill tree looks like. It's pretty similar to my old one, to the other one I had before. I had the with, uh, I focusing on a lot on life. Life is the main thing. Main thing I want. I have unremembering stance, of course. Bloodless juggernaut. I have these uh, units over here, which give me fire damage, crit multiplier, which I don't care the slightest about, and life. I have barbarism, heart of the warrior, almost three, and I want to drop this one pretty soon. So that can have this one that long time anymore, so soon I'm gonna take this away so I get a uh, free passive skill point. I have Ocenaut, I have uh, Tireless, I have Combat Stamina, another use of it here, Damage of Time, Maximum Life, and some Cold Resist, because why not? And I have the whole big life value, I could take this one just for strength, but I don't think that is necessary. And here I'm on my way to take another Yule socket here, so I'm gonna get another life regeneration here, which is pretty helpful. And another socket here, and in the socket I'm gonna have something similar to this one. Life, and so I need a fire damage or damage of time. I also now have elemental equilibrium, which are pretty awesome. And now I'm highly recommending equilibrium, and I got recommending it on uh, one of my comments, and they are right. I really need to take that one. I have Sentry, Mana Regeneration and Life Regeneration. I don't care about the Mana Regeneration, but in the new update, uh, Mind of Omeda, which are really good placed here, will work on damage over time. So I'm thinking about taking Mind of Omeda, in the Mana Notes here, and this one here. Which would be pretty spectacular for the amount of mana I will get, and uh, I'm, uh, this is just something I'm thinking about, but uh, it's interesting to think about. And we also have Amplify, I don't need any more AoE in this one, this one is good enough. I have Retribution, that doesn't give me that much, give me, uh, the spell damage doesn't do anything, the cost speed doesn't do that much, the strength and the intelligence is actually the only thing that it gives me, but, well, I wanted Amplify, and it was a pretty convenient way. I could take Elemental List now, it's a pretty nice one, and when I have taking, uh, like, this one here, I may actually just go for Elemental List then. 
I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I have this aura notes here. And I have serenity. I also have purity of flesh. I have holy fire, which I pretty much must have. And I have whispers of doom. So I can curse enemies with an additional curse. And I'm gonna show my games. Well, my right has fire setup is very simple. I could have a fire link for it. If I just had an item that could be fire linked, but I just swift in between increased AOE and concentrated effect against uh, bosses. I just using concentrated effect and against the general enemy. I just using uh, increased area of effect. And right as fire is supported by uh, elemental focus. Yeah, either increased AOE or concentrated effect. Just swift in between them and increased burning damage. And then just everything else has some some stuff. I used using two. Uh, I used one pure uh, run real aura, which are pure to fire, which are a must have in my opinion. I was using uh, elemental weakness as an aura and flammability. And then I have an orb of storm together with uh, <laughs> like uh, I'm using uh, empower together with uh, orb of storm, but. That's just something I have, it's absolutely not necessary, I just have it. Because I want to level up my empower, so why not just have empower so it's doing more damage. And I have increased critical strike, which actually doesn't give me any more damage, but because I have, uh, see now, uh, elemental overload, I get a lot more uh, elemental damage if I have that. So just yes, using that for proccing it, and uh, Oberstorm also proccing, uh, proccing elemental equilibrium. And I also have an Ice Nova on a cost of damage taken, and I have pure, my Purity of Fire there. And I have a Ball Lightning setup together with uh, Great Multiple Projectiles, Immortal Call, and they are all supported by cost of damage taken, on a level 1 cost of damage taken. So that's my setup right now. It has been working really well. But I have died sometimes. Well, it's happening. It's happened. Ooh, can I actually find some more enemies here? But if you have any questions about this build, and I am actually pretty sure I'm gonna do my build guide for this character really, really soon because I'm I'm quite happy with it. It's probably my the it's my most succeed uh, build I've done in the league. This one is the most uh, fun I've had of all of them. Even more fun than uh, my lightning uh, templar. So I really like this one. It's such a unique way for me to play. Just walking into enemies. Just reminds me of Arya Paladin. You can see it on screen right now. <laughs> And I absolutely love Aura, Aura Paladins in Diablo 2. They were awesome and really fun to play. Well, it was a unique way to play. You just stand there and saw the enemy just dying, just being close to you. But that's pretty much what I have for today. So tell me in the what you think about my build, if you like it or not. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.